Hello, how beautiful bird to be. I saw you were pretty upset during the dress rehearsal. What happened? Ah, Julie, it was awful. You want to barge into my dressing room out of nowhere, trying to surprise me. I was changing and she took a bunch of photos of me with no clothes on. What? That's so uncomfortable and totally not okay. Why would she do that? I have no idea, Julie. It's like she enjoys making me uncomfortable or something. I feel so violated and humiliated. I can imagine. That's a terrible thing to do to anyone. Especially right before your big day. Have you talked to her about it? Not yet. I was so shocked and angry at the moment. I didn't know how to react. But I can't let her get away with this. You're right, Anna. You need to adjust this. Exactly. I thought we could get along. But now I'm starting to doubt her attentions. Maybe she was trying to be playful and didn't realize how wrong it was. Yeah, such a weird thing to do to your sister-in-law, right? If she keeps behaving like this, maybe we should talk to your fiancé. Damon? I really don't want to cause any tension between them. But you're right. I can't ignore it. Your happiness comes first. Don't let anyone make you feel uncomfortable on your big day. Thanks, Julie. Anna, I just saw something terrible. Fiona posted your photos online. What? Are you serious, Julie? How could you do that? I can't believe it either. This is completely unacceptable. You need to text Fiona immediately and demand that she takes them down. I, I don't even know what to say to her. Is she intentionally trying to hurt me? You can't let her get away with this. Oh my god. I saw them on my feed. I can't believe these photos are out there for everyone to see. Text her now. Fiona, I just found that you post those photos online. Why would you do something so hurtful and violating? Anna, I'm so sorry. It was a mistake. I didn't mean to post them, I swear. A mistake? Fiona, how could you even keep those photos in the first place? I know, and I feel terrible about it. I took those photos during a dress rehearsal without thinking. I want to surprise you, remember? That's not an excuse. Fiona, you had no right to take those photos in the first place. And you definitely shouldn't have shared them. Oh, I completely messed up, Anna. I was thinking and I regret it deeply. Fiona, you've caused me so much embarrassment. I understand and I'm truly sorry. I deleted the photos as soon as I realized what happened. I just... Those photos were out there. Who knows who might have seen them? Oh, not so many people, I'm sure. Maybe just my boyfriend, because he always sees my post first. Jake? Oh god, this is not making me feel any better. Listen, I'm sorry. I wish I could take it all back. I messed up big time. Anna, I can't even begin to express how sorry I am. Okay, Yona. I'm not going to lie to see that I'm not upset anymore. But there is no point in dwelling on this. I understand, and I'm so sorry. I'll do whatever you want to make amends. Thanks for that, Fiona. Jake texts Anna. Hey there, beautiful. You were looking stunning at the dress rehearsal. That dress hugs your curves perfectly. Uh, thanks, Jake, but that's kind of creepy. Oh, come on. Don't be so uptight. I'm just giving credit where it's due. You're gorgeous, and I'm just being nice. I appreciate the compliment, but it feels uncomfortable the way you say it. I'm just being honest. I'm not the type to hold back. So, are you free this weekend? I was thinking, you know, we could grab a drink together or dinner. Jake, I'm engaged to Damon, and you're with my sister-in-law. This is so messed up, okay? I have no interest in going out with you. That's a shame. I just thought that a beautiful woman like you would be, you know, enjoying life to the fullest. I'm enjoying my life, thank you very much, with Damon by my side. Suit yourself, but I can show you a good time. Unlike Damon, I bet. Damon is wonderful, and I don't appreciate you talking about him like that. Alright, alright, no need to get defensive. I just see the way you light up when we talk, and I can't help but think there's some attraction there. There's no attraction, Jake. I'm happily committed to Damon, and I have no interest pursuing anything with you. You're missing out on a lot of fun, Anna. I know how to treat a woman right. There's not something I'm interested in exploring with you. Please, stop. Fine, I'll back off for now, but just remember, I'm here if you ever change your mind. I won't be changing my mind, Jake. I'm blocking you now. 
Come on, don't be like that. I'm just trying to have some fun. It's not fun for me, Jake. It's creepy and disrespectful. All right, all right, I get it. I'll leave you alone. But don't be surprised if you start missing the attention. I won't. Bye, Anna, but remember, you'll always have my number. Oh, I've heard you've been flirting with Cheek. Really, Anna? I can't believe you'd stoop so low. What? Fiona, that's not true at all. I haven't been flirting with Jake, and I would never do that to Damon or anyone else. Oh, please. I saw the way you two were talking at the dress rehearsal. It was so obvious. We were just having a normal conversation, Fiona. I was not flirting, but to be honest, Jake might have been. Ah, you're such a phony, Anna. Pretending to be all innocent when you're just trying to steal my man. I have no interest in Jake, and I would never try to come between you and him. Save your lies. Seeing the way he looks at you, he deserves someone better than you anyway. You and I are both on this creepy jerk. He made advances, okay? But I haven't done anything to deserve this kind of treatment. Oh, so it's his fault now. I know what I saw, Anna. I know when someone's lying, and I won't let you ruin my relationship with Jake. I'm not trying to ruin anything, Fiona. You're the one causing problems by making false claims. Well, I won't stand for it. I'm going to tell Damien everything, and he'll see your true colors. Fine, tell him. I have nothing to hide. Damien knows me better than anyone, and he trusts me. He won't once he knows what a snake you are. He's going to trust his sister over his stupid bride. Alright, you're crossing a line here. I'm not going to engage in this petty argument with you, Fiona. I know who I am, and I know what I want. Oh yeah? What do you want, Anna? To ruin my relationship and my wedding, huh? I know you're just jealous. What the hell? Jealous of what? That Jake and I are going to have a bigger wedding than you. And that demon is paying for it. I know you're jealous that Damon is so supportive of me, instead of giving in to your frivolous request. Fiona, what the hell are you on about? Damon and I want a small wedding. Stop talking like you're so noble and special. I think your action's just a little gold digger. Those bags and shoes he got for you must have been worth a ton, huh? Is it what this is about? You want the same gifts that your brother gave his fiance? Are you hearing yourself? You're being very problematic right now. Uh, don't try to turn this on me. You don't deserve Damien. He deserves someone loyal and honest. Not a backstabber like you. I won't let you talk about me like that, Fiona. You have no right to judge me or our relationship. I have every right. I'm family and I'll protect Damien from people like you. Protect him for what? You're the one causing harm here, not me. You let's see the truth. Just wait and see. I'll make sure he knows what kind of a person you really are. Do whatever you want, Fiona. I couldn't care less. You won't get away with this. I'll expose you for the lie you are. I won't waste any more time arguing with you. Goodbye, Fiona. This isn't over, Anna. Julie texts Anna. Anna, something weird just happened. What? I caught Jake looking at a picture of you on his phone, and when I asked about it, he denied having it. What? That's so strange. Why would he do that? I don't know, Anna. It seemed really suspicious. He quickly closed the app when I approached him, but I'm pretty sure it was a picture of you. Oh, this is getting really creepy. First, his inappropriate text, and now this? I don't understand what is he up to. I'm worried too, Anna. It feels like he's crossing boundaries and hiding something from us. Maybe he's secretly obsessed with me or something? This whole situation is making me so uncomfortable. It's definitely concerning. But what kind of a photo was it? Are you sure it was me? Listen, I'm not entirely sure, but I guess I should let you know now. I think it might be one of those photos that Fiona accidentally posts. What? Oh my god. Maybe you should talk to Damon. I really don't want this to get out of hand. I will. I plan to talk to him tonight. Good luck, Anna. Thanks, Julie. I don't know what I'll do without you during all of this drama. That's what friends are for, right? Absolutely. 
thank God you're my maid of honor. I'm here if you need anything. Demon, I need to talk to you about something really disturbing. It's about Jake. What's going on, Anna? Is everything okay? No, it's not. Julie caught Jake looking at a picture of me on his phone, and when she asked him about it, he denied having it. What? Yeah, and he's been really flirty towards me, sending me inappropriate texts. That's completely unacceptable. I can't believe he'd do something like that. I know, Damon. I'm really scared and uncomfortable right now. It's like he's crossing all sorts of boundaries. Don't worry, Anna. I'll take care of this. First, I'll talk to Jake and make him delete that photo immediately. Thank you, Damon. I don't want any pictures of me on his phone or anywhere else. I understand, and I won't let him get away with this. He had no right to do that. And Julie told me that it might be one of those photos where I don't have any clothes on. I once Fiona accidentally took of me, remember? Seriously, that's it? He's out of the wedding party? I, I won't tolerate this behavior from anyone involved in our special day. I hate that this is causing drama, Damon, but I agree. He can't be part of our wedding if he's acting like this. It's not your fault, Anna. I'm just so upset about everything. I know, and I'm here for you. We'll deal with this together. Thank you, Damon. I love you so much. I love you too, Anna. Fiona texts Anna. Anna? Can't believe you'd stoop so loud to make up stories about Jake just to harm my relationship with my brother. What? Uh, Fiona, I'm not making up anything. I told you the truth about what happened with Jake. Oh, please. He's trying to create drama and drive a wedge between me and Damon. Julie saw Jake looking at a picture of me on his phone. When she confronted him, he denied having it. I don't believe you for a second. You're just trying to ruin my happiness with your lies. Damon saw it too, Fiona. He took care of the situation and kicked Jake out of the wedding party because of his inappropriate behavior. That's a convenient lie, Anna. I need your chance of my relationship, but making up stories won't help you. I have no reason to be jealous, Fiona. I'm getting married to the man I love, and I have no interest in Jake. You're just trying to cover your tracks now. I don't want a liar like you in my life anymore. I'm leaving your bridal party. Fine! I don't want you to be part of my bridal party either if you're going to accuse me of lying. Whatever, Anna. I'm done with you and your lies. Leave me and my relationship alone. Huh, <laughs> gladly. I don't want anything to do with you either. Haha, <laughs> good riddance, Anna. Demon. I'm really scared and uncomfortable. I've been so many calls from strange numbers and I have a feeling it could be Jake. Oh no, that's not okay at all. Don't worry, Anna. I'll take care of this. I don't know what he's capable of anymore. I feel like he's invading our privacy. I won't let him get away with this. Your safety and peace of mind are my top priorities. Thank you, Demon. I just want this nightmare to be over. I don't want him anywhere near us. I understand, and I'm gonna call the police and report this behavior. Are you sure that's the right thing to do? Absolutely. This isn't just about us anymore, it's about ensuring the safety of everyone involved. I'm scared of what he might do if he finds out we reported him. We'll take all the necessary precautions, Anna. Your safety comes first. I trust you, Demon. I know you'll handle the situation responsibly. I'll make sure the police are aware of everything that's happened, and they'll know how to handle it. It's just so hard to believe that someone we once were considered as a friend could turn out to be so creepy and dangerous. I don't want him to have any power over us. He won't, Anna. But what about your sister? Is it going to be a problem for your relationship with her? Anna, you're gonna be my wife. She'll need to understand that. She shouldn't be with a creepy guy anyway. Okay, I just want to make sure that I'm not causing unnecessary drama. You're not okay? We'll make sure you're safe. Thank you. I might need to rethink my relationship with her, too. Maybe I've been too oblivious to everything. I shouldn't be paying for her wedding if she keeps acting this way. Julie texts Anna. Demon, I need to talk to you about something really important. Really uncomfortable about having Fiona at our wedding. I understand, Anna. After everything that's happened, I don't blame you for feeling that way. It's just that she caused so much drama. 
She canceled our bachelorette trip reservation. I don't want her to try ruin our special day too. I won't let it happen, Anna. If having her there makes you uncomfortable, then she won't be coming to the wedding. Are you sure? I don't want to create tension between you and your family. My priority is you and your happiness, Anna. Thank you, Demon. I love you so much, and I want our day to be perfect. I love you too, Anna, and I promise you, our day will be perfect. I feel so relieved knowing that you're on my side and that you understand how I feel. Always, Anna. Hmm. Can't believe you're trying to stop me from showing up at my own brother's wedding. So heartless and selfish. Hmm. You've already kicked me out of your wedding party. Kind of a sister-in-law are you? Fiona, I didn't kick you out of the wedding party. You left on your own after causing so much drama and hurt. Mm. Uh, you're just making excuses. You've always been jealous of my relationship with Damon. And now you're trying to ruin my happiness. Mm. Who's going to pay for my wedding now? Mm. This has nothing to do with jealousy. Your actions have consequences and you can't expect everyone to tolerate your behavior. Mm. Don't need your approval, Anna. I'll show up at the wedding with my partner. And you can't stop me. I'm not trying to stop you, Fiona. But if you chose to show up anyway, please remember that you're not welcome. I'll do whatever I want. You can't control me or my actions. You're right, Fiona. I can't control you, but I can control what I want to surround myself with on my wedding day. Huh, <laughs> you think you're so perfect. You're just a manipulative person. Fine, Fiona, if that's how you feel, and there's nothing more to say. Mm. You can bet on that. See you at the wedding day, whether you like it or not. At the wedding, mm. Fiona texts Anna. Anna, what's going on? Why can't we get into the hall? And what are the police here? Mm. Fiona, the police are here to escort Jake away. I got a restraining order against him after everything that happened. Mm. What? A restraining order against Jake? That's outrageous! His behavior was crossing all boundaries and I need to protect myself and everyone at the wedding. Ugh, you're unbelievable, Anna. We can do this. Just trying to ruin everything for me. I'm just ensuring our safety and peace of mind. This is a new low, even for you. I can't believe you'd go to such a length just to keep me away from my brother's wedding. This has nothing to do with you, Fiona. Jake is not a threat. You're just being dramatic and trying to paint him as some kind of a villain. He invaded my privacy, made inappropriate advances, and caused so much distress. I had to take action to protect myself. You're always playing the victim, Anna. It's sickening how you manipulate everyone around you. This is my brother's wedding day, and you're turning it into a circus with your trauma. I won't apologize for taking measures to protect myself and my loved ones. Mm. You've lost your mind, Anna. You're freaking horrible. I'm going to stop this. Anna, you won't believe what's happening outside the hall. Fiona tried to stop the police who was courting Jake, and she made a huge scene. Oh, no, really? I hope everyone's okay. The police handled it, but Fiona was yelling and causing a scene. People took photos and some were laughing at her. That's terrible. Why is she making a, such a spectacle of herself? It's really unfortunate, especially on your wedding day, but we can't control our actions. You're right. I just hope it doesn't overshadow the happiness of the day. Don't worry, Anna. Everyone inside is focused on celebrating your love and your wedding. Thank you, Julie. It means a lot to know that our guests are supporting us. Of course. We're all here for you and Damon, no matter what happens outside. Try the best, Julie. Thank you for being there for me. Anytime, Anna. Now try to focus on the joy of the moment and forget about the drama outside. I will. Let's not let Fiona's actions affect her happiness. Agreed. It's your special day and nothing can take that away from you. Thank you, Julie. See you inside. Anna, please tell your guests to take the photos down. Ugh, so humiliating. You know, you brought this upon yourself with your actions. I can't control what people do with the photos they took. I'm begging you, Anna. This is ruining my reputation and my relationship. Everyone is talking about how I messed with the police. Maybe you should have thought about that before you decide to post my private photos online. 
I didn't mean to, okay? It was a stupid mistake. A stupid mistake that you didn't even own up to until now. I was scared, Anna. I didn't know how you would react. You were scared? What about how I felt when I found out those photos were all over the internet? I'm sorry, okay? Your apologies means nothing if you're not willing to be honest about your intentions. Fine, I posted the photos intentionally. I was jealous that I wanted to hurt you. I knew it. You were never happy for me. For you. You were trying to tear me down. It's not like that, Anna. I was just... I'm like insecure and I lashed out. Insecure? You have a loving partner, a family who supports you, and you're ruining my wedding day out of insecurity? Can we just move past this and make things right? How can you move past this when you're still hiding the truth from Demon? I can't tell him, Anna. He'll hate me forever. You should have thought about that before you decided to sabotage our relationship. I didn't think you would go this far. So it's to cause a little trouble. Well, not ruin everything. Well, congratulations. You achieved what you wanted. My wedding day is tainted because of your actions. Oh, don't talk like you didn't have it easy, too. What the hell is that supposed to mean? You took away all the attention the demon gave me. The bags, the shoes, the gifts. Hey, you sick of me. Oh my god, Fiona. You're a freak. He's your brother. Of course he'll prioritize his wife. Tell him the truth. Now. I can't lose him, Anna. I don't want to upset him. I don't care. Tell him what you did to me. It's not that simple. It is that simple, Fiona. Either you tell him the truth, or I'll let your photos float around the internet. So what's fair? Unfair? You think it's fair that you posted my private photos online and caused so much pain? You know what? You brought this upon yourself. What? I will upload your photos again if you don't ask your guests to take my photos down. How about that, huh? Are you serious right now? Or why are you still keeping them? Of course, I'm not going to delete them. I wanted to ruin your wedding day. And now that you've ruined our relationship with literally the most important people in my life, maybe you deserve this. You know what, Fiona? Do it. I'm going to do it, Anna. You'll be ashamed forever. The legal battle unfolded. Jake and Fiona's action had serious consequences. They both lost the lawsuit and were ordered to pay me over $60,000 in settlement. With part of the money, I decided to use it to create new memories with my closest friends. I organized another bachelor party. This time's on Julie's favorite vacation island, Hawaii. It was a healing experience and I couldn't have asked for a better group of friends to stand by my side. After the wedding, Damon and I returned home to a newly renovated house. Damon decided to cut contact with his sister. Despite her pathetic attempt to reconnect with him, I doubt she's genuine with her intentions. But that doesn't matter anymore. What matters is that Damon and I are finally happy, away from all the drama.